Hi everyone, it's Louis here from Louis Tutorials and today I wanted to show you a really cool gallery for your website. Uh, this is very easy to put on your website and it's quite a nice gallery. Uh, it's got the really nice thumbnails down the bottom there. It also allows you to do this in full screen. You just have to uh, click allow and as you can see there, full screen mode it really is a, a very attractive gallery and very easy to install on your website so let me show you how to do that and how to get this particular gallery the first thing I want you to do is type in Juicebox Gallery in Google it'll be the first one that pops up as you can see here it is a HTML5 image gallery which means it'll load a lot faster on your website and um, just an overall better image gallery than using you know say a, a, a flash one for example which won't even show up on any of the uh, uh, devices like mobile devices and stuff so click on that and just click on get juice box download it or you can click on download either way once you download it this is what the actual program will look like now I've already uploaded a previous one that I've done so I can show you guys now the photos all you need to do is drag them from your folder into this box here and they'll pop up here so it's as easy as that with uh, or you can hit the browse button with the sizing uh, I've got a custom size that uh, I've put them all in so no bigger than 960 across and 800 uh, height if we go to customize you can put the name of the gallery so I've put the name of the business here once again gallery width 960 by 800 um, you can change the background color I've left it to the dark color here and uh, the text is in white as you can see um, I've done it with uh, show thumbs buttons, show expand buttons, uh, show open button and I've also enabled the full screen as well. Now when you go to publish you need to put the folder wherever you want to actually put the whole folder in so I've got this section in gallery and it's the whole entire folder, the juice box folder and we'll just go back there so we've already selected that and then the the page the the name of the page I found that this really doesn't make much of a difference for, because I've put it on a totally different page it doesn't seem to make a difference at all uh, all you need to do is copy this particular script and right here I'm using web plus x6 to do this so for those of you who use web plus x6 you just go to the html code section and I've already done it here and basically double click on that and paste the body and make sure that your measurements are all right so this right here is from 960 to 800 and what I've also done is managed to match the background color um, in the back as well to whatever color is appearing on the gallery itself um, you can keep it as white it doesn't really matter I mean I've done this for this particular thing so as you can see I've just done this background color here save that as an image and then put it in the background but we won't go through that right now the important thing is the gallery itself and that's pretty much it is it's really as easy as that now I forgot to mention the files do need to be loaded up to your server okay so the whole folder the whole entire juice box folder will be generated by the program that's why you need to uh, have a destination for your folder and that entire folder you need to put onto your website uh, onto your server so just to give you a quick uh, view of that of how that's done you need to click on FileZilla if you haven't got FileZilla it's a free program you can download 
and just have your FTP details here. So I'll just do that quickly. So basically this information, if you don't have it, you can get that from your provider or pretty much your, uh, they would have sent you an email with your FTP details when you signed up with whoever it is, HostGator or whatever. It might be GoDaddy. Uh, the host uh, IP address is here, your username, your password. You click connect. And over on this side, we always look for the public underscore HTML folder. And in here, you want to make sure that all the contents of that folder are in, in this section here. So pretty much you can either drag it in here or basically uh, drag them from here into there. You just pick it, drag it and that's it and it's done. Uh, once you've done that all the files and images are in there so you don't have to worry about anything else. It'll pretty, pretty much appear as you see it right here. Simple as that. So any questions please make a comment in the comment section here and also if you like the video please subscribe so we'll see you guys soon thanks for watching